further into the future, we give ourselves the opportunity to make our own future. We're similar to the first series in that we're exploring strange new worlds again, but we've got a whole new quadrant to look at and new ideas for alien races to encounter and places to explore. It's kind of going back to the roots of the original series. There's more of a theme of exploration. Somebody, I'm going crazy here. Oh, oh yeah, it's coming. I'm coming, and there's no getting away from it. These are 75%. Uh-huh. Um. Nice paper on a standard laser or something? Yeah, yeah, the printer. Um, yeah, it's nice to, you know, step out and do, do it. You know, create some new ones. Yummy. Well, uh, Elle's character is an alien species that uses bio, uh, I guess biomechanical, or, or I'm not uh -huh. really sure. It's some sort of bionic system that's yeah. biological that they incorporate to enhance their senses. And so Elle's character has uh, the ability to see, uh, she has special vision and she can see, I guess, different waves energy. of light, different energy, yeah, radiation, things like that. And so to help incorporate that into a makeup, I uh, put these uh, eye spots on here as kind of a, a light receptor or uh, some sort of energy receptor that's still in an organic biological way. We, you know, we needed something that uh, we could achieve in a, a, a simple way, but have it be naturalistic and, and real. Um, right now, I'm just fixing up the lashes that she'll be wearing. They're a little too long. So uh, we've got the bigger, flashier ones on the bottom, and then these ones to kind of complement it on the top, um, kind of hopefully tie the whole makeup together. Um, it's uh, it's one of Will's designs. 
and we've got some airbrushing that goes uh, for all the patterns down on her neck and then around her mouth and eyes. Um, several layers of different colors. Um, there's some on the back of her neck too. So just in case camera comes around there, you can still see it. Looks complete, looks done. So yeah. Same time, she's got that side, I got this no, side. No, Fight something. Ready, Ready? set, set go. go. <laughs> My name's Chris. I'm the uh, prop master and now actually production designer for Star Trek Phoenix. But mainly I'm the prop master, which means I get to make toys. There's a thin one there. I've got a couple more thin ones. We've got this one, the doctor one, isolinear chip. This one. Oh, you know what? I don't have it with me now. That's the red one. Yeah, it's just so big, I don't think it'd end up in this box. So. Okay. But, uh, and then we've got um, a couple more thin ones. Uh, the one in this one, the dog bone one. And then we have all the you know, tricorns and things. So. Let's give this one to um, um, Baron Lauren. Okay. And have him do that one for the captain. And okay. then. Let's give, um, let's give three of those. Let's give this one to, um, uh, Fred. Fred? Okay, you can just use it. There's your toy. Door. I got a toy? Sweet. A toy. Thank you. And I got a name. You didn't tell me I had a name before I got on camera. This one's for you. You have no pips? Yes, this is for the documentary. Oh, it is! It is. Hello. What are you doing? I'm finishing up this belt, which has electroluminescent wire. It's going to light up and be pretty. And make our grill look funky. Nice. Yeah. And it's got all kinds of beads and stuff on her. And she comes from a planet where if she leaves her planet, she will die. So she has to have these stones from her planet and whatever power that comes from them. We'll keep her alive while she's working for us on the ship. And what are those blue strings? Because we can't probably see them very well on the slide. Um, they're electroluminescent wire. Here, right now they're pulsating. They yeah, work. And they're very cool. And I had to do all kinds of. Um, <laughs> this isn't usually in the sewing realm, no. but um, you know, I had to do a little splicing and dicing and making. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So it's neat. All right. Yeah. Cool. So, you know, and right now I'm fixing the belt because I put it on back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> came from well, welcome we make a little pattern to describe how ship is shaped because that's where we come up with the word ship shape. When we touch button, it shapes ship crazy like a torpedo. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. 
This has gone back to get more action in it, more vibrant dialogue. I'm really enthused to see this. I'm really happy to see this come out with fresh characters too. Not the same old Kirk, Spock, and all. It's going to be fresh, new, great, new life. I'm going to love it. All right, it's pretty exciting getting to see a new series coming out. It's like, it's got the old theme from Star Trek Next Generation, the old school Star Trek. Like, you're traveling, seeing new cultures, seeing new alien races. It's a very awesome show, and I think it's going to be great. Oh my god, it's going to be awesome! But yeah, it's going to be great. This is the best thing I've seen since ISS Close Out. This is phenomenal. You guys have done a phenomenal piece of work here. What all we did was right. You, you, this is, this is amazing. I'm really seriously impressed. Thank you.